Hey y'all, Tommy Post here. Today we're going to talk about a homemade arrow cutting device contraption. You can make it yourself, uh, usually with scraps that are just hanging around your house, or if you want to run to Home Depot, you can get some stuff and do this thing for probably about 20 bucks. It's not fancy, but it does work. All right, so here it is. Basically what we have, we have about a three foot piece of two by six. It's pressure treated, it's heavy, makes a good base, nice and solid. Um, over here, we've got a little Dremel cutting tool. Yeah, look at those fancy screws holding it in place. Uh, that Dremel tool was available on eBay for, I think I got it for like 12 or 13 bucks. And it came with a whole gaggle of different cutting tips and abrasion wheels and you name it, comes with it. Bargain. Multi-speeds, on and off, other side, anyhow. You can see it's just kind of pinched into place. I could have got a lot more elaborate by putting little bands over those, but you know what? That sucker's solid as a rock. I've just got screws run in there so that the tapered part of the heads end up pinching against it in certain spots to hold it. Solid. Down on this end, just have a piece of a yardstick. Now you can see that scale is cut off there. Well, there are no arrows any shorter than that, so that works for me. I place these two blocks the smallest distance uh, for my son's arrows. Uh, his arrows are real short, so as long as you have enough room to turn the fletching without them hitting this block, you can space those however you want. Over here you can see some marks. That's a little L, that's my wife's initial. That's me right there. And basically it's already measured out. If you go right to the cutting wheel, Measure all the way to the throat of the knock. My arrows are 28 and a half. So you can see this little block is sitting at 28 and three quarters. It's usually just about a quarter inch of on the end of the knock itself uh, from the throat back. It may be different from knock to knock, but that's how it works out for mine. So basically it's a quarter inch. My wife's knocks are the same thing. She's a 27 inch arrow. So the block sets at 27 and a quarter so that the actual cut measurement comes from the throat rather than the tip. So anyhow, I'll show you just how easy this thing works. I got plenty of room here for my kids' arrows. Can move them. They're still growing, so I didn't put any permanent marks for them. My wife and I, were going to be the same size we are now pretty much the rest of our lives till we start to shrink when we get old. So this is it. Get my better half to hold the camera, and I'll cut one up for you. All right, that one's already done. So the idea is to take this. Now you can see there's a lot of extra here that's gotta get cut off to be able to fit into here. So we're gonna fire it up and we're gonna take it off in passes like this until we get into the right range where I can set the knock against the block back over here. And then we'll be able to swing it in, cut the arrow. Perfect. And here it is. <laughs> We start with just a little at a time. And one piece. Two pieces. Three pieces. We gotta take one more off before we can stick it in. Now, if you look over here, I'm going to put that right against the wood, and then back to the blade. And that. Is a perfectly clean cut end, no frays. No splinters. It's an abrasion wheel, so it polishes it as it goes. You measure on back. And throw to the knock. Right at 28 and a half. That's how you do a do-it-yourself arrow cutting machine thing. And I'm Tommy Post. Happy shooting.